So this is a review of sketching quadratics. My goal here is not to teach you how to sketch quadratics, it's to remind you of how to sketch quadratics. I'm going to do it in two different ways. I'm going to do it using the turning point form, and I'm going to do it using the general form. Get stuck into it. So here's my first example. It's in turning point form, y equals negative x plus 1 squared plus 4. Step 1 is to find the turning point. Now, it's in turning point form, so the turning point comes from here, and it comes from here. Now remember, uh, the turning point in this particular case then is 1, 4, but no it's not, because that positive 1 is actually, you flip the sign, so it's negative 1. So the turning point on this one is negative 1, 4. Step 2 is to find the y-intercept, and to find a y-intercept you always let x equal 0. And then if we get stuck into some maths, we've got y equals negative 0 plus 1 squared plus 4. So that's just 1 squared, so negative 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, so it's going to be negative times 1 plus 4. We have uh, 3. So my y-intercept is equal to 3. Step 3. Ask yourself the question, do I have x-intercepts? Now, find the turning point. So the turning point on this one is negative 1, 4, so it's up here somewhere. And this negative out the front tells us that this is going to be a sad-faced parabola. So if that's the turning point and it's a sad-faced parabola, then yep, it's going to have turning points. Yep. Uh, you can sort of do that pretty much in your head or just a rough sketch. I'm going to delete that and move on to step four. Find the x-intercepts. Now, to find the y-intercept, we let x equal to zero. To find the x-intercept, we let y equals 0. And the algebra here is kind of tricky, so follow along. 0 equals negative x plus 1 squared plus 4. Take the 4, subtract it from both sides. We'll get negative 4, negative x plus 1 squared, and the 4 is, is gone. Now, that negative, that's like negative 1 times that. So we can divide by negative 1 to get rid of the negative. Now, obviously negative 4 divided by negative 1 is positive 4. And that leaves us with x plus 1 squared on this side. To get rid of the squared, square root. But don't forget that that square root is plus or minus. And finally, x is equal to that positive 1, subtract 1 from both sides. We get negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 4. Now, that means that x is equal to negative uh, 1 plus the square root of 4, which is 2. Uh, so negative 1 plus 2 is uh, 1. Or x is equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 4, which is 2. Which is uh, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 3. So two x-intercepts, 1 and negative 3. And that brings us to step 5 which is sketch. Uh, so we finish all of this up. We have an x and a y axis. We have a turning point of negative 1, positive 4. We have a y-intercept of 3. And we have uh, an x-intercept of 1 and an x-intercept of negative 3. Negative 3, uh, negative, put your labels on. 3 and 1. Draw a nice looking parabola through here. It's a bit hard on this board, but I'll give it a shot. That'll do. Okay, that is uh, sketching in turning point form. I'm going to do the whole thing again in general form, but faster. All right, so the last one I sketched in turning point form. This one is in general form. Um, now, you could complete the square, which would turn it into turning point form, and then um, sketch from turning point form. Or you can sketch directly from general form, which is what I'm about to do, step one. Step one is to find the axis of symmetry, uh, and we do that using a handy formula, negative b over 2a. So in this particular example, the axis of symmetry is equal to negative 1 over 2 times 1, uh, which is negative 1 half. Step two. Find the turning point, and the turning point lies on the axis of symmetry. Uh, so if we put in negative half sub negative one half for x, 
which is what the axis of symmetry is, we'll find the y coordinate of our turning point. So if y equals negative one half squared, so I'm putting negative one half in there, plus negative one half minus 12. If I type that into my calculator, I'm going to get negative 12.25, which means that my turning point is equal to an x value of negative one half and a y value of negative 12.25, or 12 and a quarter if you want to write it that way. All right, next step is to find the y-intercept, and that's very, very simple. Let x equal zero. And in this particular case, it always ends up the same way. If I put zero in there, I'll get zero squared, which is zero. If I put zero in there, I'll get zero. And what I'm left with is my c value, which is always the y-intercept. So in this case, the y-intercept is equal to negative 12. Step four. Step four is to ask yourself, do I have x-intercepts? And the way that you do that is by using something called the discriminant. All right, the discriminant is the thing underneath the square root in the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. The thing underneath the square root is b squared minus uh, 4ac. Now, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, you're going to have 2x intercepts. If it's um, equal to 0, you're going to have 1x intercept. And if it's less than 0, if it's negative, you're going to have no x intercepts. That's the discriminant. So if I try that here, um, b is 1, so 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1 times negative 12. So 1 minus 4 times 1 is negative 4 times negative 12, it's positive 48. I get 1 plus 48, which is 49. 49 is greater than 0, therefore 2x intercepts. Now I just need to know what they are. All right, so next is to find the x-intercepts. And to find x-intercepts, we let y equal 0. So therefore, 0 equals x squared plus x minus 12. You can try factorizing that and solving using the null factor law. Probably the better and more fail-safe way to do it is to use the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That's going to be equal to the 2x value. So x is going to be equal to all of that. I'm going to plug the numbers in. I'm going to put it into my calculator, and I'm going to get two answers. So I put it all into my quadratic formula. I tried negative 1 plus all of that, and I tried negative 1 minus all of that. And my two answers were negative 4 and positive 3. So they are my two x-intercepts. Last step. Last step is to sketch it. So I have a... Cartesian plane, I have a turning point of negative a half, negative 12.25. So negative a half, negative 12.25. I have a y-intercept of negative 12. Uh, I might just move this dot over a little bit. And I have x-intercepts of negative 4 and positive 3. Draw them in, negative 4, positive 3, 12. Label that, negative a half, negative 12.25. Draw it, move that x over a little bit so I'm a bit happier with it. You'll take a little more care with that, I just don't want to waste your time too much. That is a review of sketching quadratics using the turning point form and the general form. Note the differences, note the similarities, get to work.